welcome to the second of our Life Rooms videocasts, where we're looking at how we're transforming the former Walton Library into the brand new Centre for Recovery and Social Inclusion. I'm delighted to say we're inside today and the work is progressing really well and everything's on track now to be completed in the spring of 2016. I'm here today with Tammy Edwards from ADT Workplace, who's led the design process for the Life Rooms project. She's worked with us on a number of uh, workshops with service users, carers and staff. So Tammy, could you tell us a little bit about the benefits of working closely with service users, carers and the staff who are going to use the building? Yeah, sure. Um, the workshops I found very beneficial. Um, it really gave me a big understanding of how people are going to use the space, how they're going to interact, um, how their service users, the carers and the representatives of the trust, how they envision the space. So it just gave me really a good starting point to do the designs. Could you tell us a little bit about what you got out of the workshops with our service users and carers and our staff and the ideas that inform the design process? Yeah, well I think firstly um, doing um, site surveys and seeing the building, that gave me a lot of inspiration of how I wanted it to look. Um, we wanted to make it a really warm, welcoming environment where people could come and use it for a lot of different reasons, whether they wanted to use the library area, uh, some professional advice or just come in for a coffee. So it, that gave me a really good starting point for how I wanted it to look um, and as well talking about the senses and um, engaging people with the senses so we wanted you know lots of different materials lots of different fabrics just to create a really nice environment for everybody and how does this differ from other projects that you've worked on? Well, I've actually never worked on a building like this before. So first off, when I was uh, coming to visit the building, I was, I was in awe of it, um, slightly nervous about doing the design, but working alongside you, and, and I absolutely loved, loved doing the design on this building. And where's the work up to now? Um, well, I'm doing weekly visits, <laughs> so um, we're, we're kind of midway through and it's all just coming to life at the minute, so uh, we're starting to see all the different materials come to life and certain features coming into into the building, so yeah, it, it's looking good, very good. The refurbishment is going really well and the building is starting to look magnificent once again. The exterior has been cleaned to remove over a hundred years of grime from the beautiful sandstone exterior features and pillars. Internally, much of the decoration has been done. Little touches like highlighting the beautiful plaster work on the domed ceiling in heritage colours has been really effective at drawing out this historic feature. The traditional cast iron radiators have been refurbished and will be hooked up to a fully sustainable modern heating system to maintain the best possible conditions for our visitors and for our staff. Much of the flooring is now in. The cafe area is almost complete. All of these things together will make this a comfortable and practical environment for everyone who uses it into the future. One of the main services that's going to be housed here in the Life Rooms is our Recovery College that we launched two years ago. I'm here now with Vicky McGuinness, our Recovery College Administrator. Vicky, can you tell us a bit about the Recovery College and the work it does? Um, the Recovery College runs courses um, for service users and carers of Mercy Care. Um, and we offer people help with anxiety, confidence building, self-esteem. Yeah. And can you tell us about some of the courses that the college runs? We run courses for service users and carers, courses such as anxiety management, confidence building, self-esteem, but also some more creative courses, journeys through film, confidence through drama. So how will an environment like our new Centre for Recovery and Social Inclusion improve the work of the Recovery College? I think it will massively improve it. It's just a lovely place to be. It's so amazing being here now and being built, but when it's done it's going to be the best and that's what all our service users and carers deserve. And what kind of support services will service users and carers be able to access here? There's going to be a wide variety of services they can access from help with debt, management, um, employment services, support just getting back into the community, IT, a wide variety. And what's it going to be like for you as a staff member to work in a place like the Life Rooms? It's going to mean everything to me and the whole team. We're really looking forward to moving in. It's such a beautiful building, so much time and effort's being spent on creating such a lovely environment for all new students and all our original students as well to come through to continue to support them on their recovery journey. We can't wait.